Okay, for anyone who's interested, we've just had solar panels installed on our house. This is the first day of real sunshine we've had since we put them in. Ironically, we had to cut down trees to make, to, to generate green energy. Fancy that, to get the shade off the panels. So we have 23 panels on the roof. They're 240 watts each. Uh, there's two strings or two banks at two different angles. Um, because of the geometry of the roof so the performance depends on the position of the sun of course it's uh, a 5,000 watt system but the, uh, the cool thing is when it's generating power and it's currently generating 4,000 watts or thereabouts up and down uh, it's peaked at 5,000 and eight today so far again depending on the cloud and the shade so that's the power output from the solar panel but because we have an old analog meter in our switchboard and ergon has not yet changed to our digital meter the disc is literally spinning backwards so you can see the direction of normal travel on this disc indicated by the arrow and you can see we're slowly turning backwards and as the power output from the panels varies so does the speed of the disc if we were to go into shade which we are a little bit we've just dropped to 2000 watts the disc slows down if somebody turned on a kettle now it would probably stop and actually turn the other way but I can tell you since at 8.15 this morning, the reading on this meter was 5.730. It's now 1 p.m. and the reading on this meter is 5.723.4. So that means we've generated all the power that we've consumed today and we're ahead by about 6,000 watts. So all I can say is bring on summer get rid of these clouds and we'll be getting paid 44 cents a kilowatt hour for the next 16 years for every extra kilowatt that we generate.